How you going? Well, we're just waking up this morning and uh, it's fairly wet here. And the barracks top seems to be always raining when we come here. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you a couple of things. Uh, this is our new little gas burner uh, we've got hold of. They're made in Korea and we're importing these. They're very, very good. Um, we've already got the fire going, of course. We sort of missed that this morning. Um, but what it is, the good thing about this is it's got a little trigger on it. So it makes it really easy to light. Uh, now we lit that fire there this morning with it very quickly. The wood's all wet. The thing is with it as well, you can turn it upside down and it really shoots the flame out, as you can see. So it uh, shoots a small stream of gas out. And you can see that, you know, particularly a day like, or a morning like this morning where it's wet, it's very hard to get this sort of wood going, you know, when it's just damp. So what we've done, like I've shown on videos before, we'll get a, a nice log, we'll split it up so it becomes nice and dry, split it up really small, and um, you can get that fire going fairly quickly with something like that, so they're nice to have. And the other thing I was going to show you, which you haven't done before, is the Snow Peak coffee percolator. And we use this a lot. So that's it there. Now you can use that like a jug, just a hot water jug. Um, you just put that on the fire like that, and you can see we've used it a lot. But it is a percolator, and we can uh, put the coffee grinds in there and make a fresh brew of coffee. Now the other thing we've got to go with that is our little coffee bag. It's one that Jenny makes up. Um, it's got all my coffee stuff in it there, so I've got a small Snow Peak uh, press. I just want to have a quick cup of coffee. Now this is the thing I really want to show you, is the Porlex coffee grinder. And that's it there. That's quite small. Uh, it's made in Japan. It's very high quality. Um, and it's just a small handle sits on top and you can basically grind your coffee. It comes in three sections. There's a small piece on the bottom to catch the grinds. Uh, small lid. So you can put the coffee in there. Now these, the good thing about these is that they're a ceramic grinder. They're adjustable here, um, but they're a very, very high quality coffee grinder. Um, so what you do, yeah, it's got some fresh coffee here. You know, there's nothing quite like uh, being able to grind your own beans in the morning. So you just pretty much fill him up like that. Right. You can see that's uh, about full. I don't know the exact measurements what you need. You know, James Mandy had um, me made over in WA. He'd, he'd weigh that on some scales and get right into it, um, which you can do. But we just fill it up. Now you just got to turn it like that, which is quite good in the morning. It gets you going and warms you up. It's not a matter of holding in one hand and turning it like that. You sort of really got to turn both hands like that. That'll just take about a minute. And you can feel the resistance there from grinding the coffee. So as soon as you finish, you'll know it'll get a lot easier. All right, that's just about done. You just feel the tension coming off that. You can feel the beans have been finished, and there it is there. Look at that. Now it's important to get the right grind and um, you know you can adjust that to course or fine and uh, that's just about spot on. So what we'll do, we'll chuck some water in here. Got some water left over from last night. From our kettle. Just tap that inside there. All right.
Um, now how this works is, of course, the water's going to boil up through the top of this stem, um, over the top of this little shower head here, and it'll drip down through the coffee, and um, you know, that's how it works. So the idea is with a glass lid as well, you can see that happening, so the coffee will sort of spurt up and hit the top of that glass, and you'll be able to see that um, starting to purr, see the colour and you know when it gets to the right colour. Um, then you can lift it off and ready to go. So just make a bit of space here in the fire. Oh yeah, so we'll just leave that there for a few minutes and um, very shortly that'll start to perk away and we can uh, make ourselves a nice little brew for me and Jake this morning. No worries. Yes, yeah, so you can see that there now. That's just starting to perk away. Um, you see how it's bubbling up fairly quickly there. We've just moved it to the side of the fire a little bit as well because you don't want it to be too hot and it boil over too much. So I've just moved the fire to the side of the fire and some of the coals away. You can see it's you know, boiling really well there. So we'll just give that another minute or so and then uh, lift him off, let it settle, and then we can pour it out. I'll show you too what we've, the camp set up we've got here. Uh, there's five of us, we've got all the bunkers, and these work great. Um, you can see how we just got them pegged out in a line for kids and for this sort of camping. It's great for everyone to have their own bunker, you know. So um, that works really well. Easy to set up and easy to carry. Um, yeah, we've just got the rapid wing awning, of course. It's raining here. It's been raining all night. And um, that, of course, gives you a large area under cover, uh, which works really well. The boys are about to go a bit of bow hunting this morning. Is that right, Adi? Yeah. Have to have a look. And, um, yeah, show them your bow, Brocker. Is that yours? That's Adi's one. Is that? Yeah. They're all into the bow hunting at the moment. Got all the nice gear and uh, you know, they might be able to walk around and find a couple of rabbits to shoot or something like that. So, no worries. What do you reckon, Cotter? Yeah, uh, well, we might see something. Well, Nine times out of ten. <laughs> yeah, if Aiden's professional camo he's got on there. <laughs> I call that barbed wire fence blue. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's going to go in the well, but... All right, that's probably about ready. It's got a couple of titanium snow peak mugs. So we'll just pour that out. You can see that it's a nice dark color. And That is going to be a good brew. Alright, so for some people, it's a bit of coffee sacrilege, but uh, a bit of milk, Jake? Yes. Splash of milk. <clears throat> Alright, so for us, um, Camping, that's what it's all about, is to be able to, you know, yeah, enjoy yourselves and um, take your time in the morning to make a nice pot of coffee. And that is really nice, so that's a good start to the day, even though it's raining. Alright, no worries. Yeah, is that Jake? Good? Yeah. Good coffee? Yeah. Nice, mate. Alright, we'll be back later. Are you going to shut up this or that? Nah, You'll get You'll be right. Okay. I'll get it. Alright, see you later, boys. That's the last time we saw them.
<laughs> okay, another product I was going to show you as well is uh, these little salt and pepper grinders. Now they're made by the same company, Paulax, that makes a coffee grinder. So uh, Paulax specialises in ceramic grinders. And uh, there's two sizes they make in these. Now the good thing with it is, you know, you can buy these little ones from the shop, but mostly they're not reusable. You can't open the top and fill them up again. You know, whereas these, of course, you can just use them forever. Um, so you can have some nice, you know, peppercorns in there. You can see the ceramic grinders. They're very high quality. So there's two sizes, is that one there, for uh, salt and pepper basically. And also these smaller ones here, which I really like. It's got a nice shape to them. Um, that's all you really need to go camping, and you can fill it up any time. Again, you've got the really nice ceramic grinder inside. They've got uh, caps on the top. Uh, they grind really well. It's a, it's a beautiful grinding action. And you can see that there. So it's great for around the fire pit. You know, um, it's nice to be able to be cooking chops and meat and uh, even vegetables to be able to season it well. Um, that's the salt one there. Now they're adjustable, okay, with a small screw on top so you can make it coarse or fine. And you can see that. So it's just really nice to have good quality products. These Paulex are Japanese made. Again, they're ceramic grinder. Uh, there's a couple of different sizes, so they're small and lightweight. You can easily fit those in. And the good thing is you can reuse them all the time. So it's a lot cheaper to buy, you know, um, salt and pepper crystals um, just in the packet rather than a little bottle. And you can just keep filling them up as you need to. So that's the Paulex salt and pepper grinders. We've got the two sizes and they'll be on our website as well. Thanks very much. Okay, here's the Snow Peak kettle. It's a new product it's just come out and um, it's really good because it's quite tall but it's got a narrow base. Okay, um, it's ideal for the fire pit and you can see why there because um, you know it'll fit down inside the fire no worries. If you've got a really big you know a large base pot it'd be hard to find a spot for it but with that narrower base you can just find a spot on that fire really easily. Um, because it's in the fire pit as well the fire can build up around it and it, you know, it heats up really quickly. Okay, so it's got a few nice features. Um, it's got a lid there, of course. It's got a small spout on it. Now, if you're going to have a billy on the fire, you've got to make sure you don't get all the ash inside. And that's why you've got the spout there. Now, when you um, lift that up, it'll lock in there to lock the lid down, okay, which is nice. So when you're pouring, and um, it's all stainless steel construction, so it's about 1.8 litres. Again, you've got uh, a nice spout there, so you won't get ash in the fire. Righto, so I'm just going to pour another cup of tea for me and Jake. And have a bit of smoke, eh? So. Been a pretty relaxing morning this morning. You can see again the Jacaro table, how handy it is. It provides that little bench right around the fire pit. <clears throat> Particularly being that stainless steel, it's ideal for these sort of cooking items. As well, we're using the half and half. And that's where the half hot plate or the half net comes, you know, really handy. In that you can have your, your billy on the fire and still be able to cook some sausages. If you had the full net, you know, you just wouldn't be able to fit that in there. So this is where we use the half net a lot. I'll show you quickly these as well. We've only just got these in from Japan. And it's Snow Peak's new cutlery range. So, it's basically a set of four. Um, and it's stainless steel. You can see that there. You've got a, a medium size or a small spoon, large spoon the fork and the knife. Um, they've all got the Snow Peak logo stamped on to the end of the handle there. Uh, they're quite lightweight, they're all high grade stainless steel um, but they're very lightweight and uh, 
you know, just beautiful cutlery. So, you know, if you're becoming Snow Peak fans or you are a Snow Peak fan, then it's it's really nice to have a set of cutlery. Um, and that's them there. So we'll have them on the website shortly. Um, and it's uh, an ideal sort of thing to go with the rest of your Snow Peak gear. Rightio, thanks very much.